And this coronal mass ejection was so special, it came along with one of those lens flare fairies the sailors always used to talk about. Hit the button, baby. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Thor News presents... Hello and welcome. Okay, I am definitely taking my Thor News weird weather watch up a notch. I am throwing quality control to the wind for the sake of just bringing you data. Because there is a lot of it at the moment. And when I say data, I mean anomalous WTF data, baby. Are you okay with me calling you baby? Baby? All right, then let's go. Take my hand as we jog forth towards space weather. We had a giant mofo coronal mass ejection happen. And it just happened right after the comet thingy. There was a comet. See, there's the comet right there. It's almost like it's got a counter comet. Isn't that crazy? Okay, for 2-2-2015, two, two, I'm going to go ahead and keep my videos pretty short. Because we got data coming out. Lightning fast rates. So we must be in the lightning round, ladies and gentlemen. So it is going to be short and super sweet, baby. What we're looking at is the sun. The sun is the closest star to planet Earth. I don't know if you knew that. You do now. And what happens is the sun flies through outer space at about 400,000 miles an hour. Just chilling out, looking for buddies and stuff. And sometimes when it gets bored or it needs a little extra pick-me-up for its get-up-and-go so it can get up and went, the sun shoots out coronal mass ejections. Or it does that because it gets lonely and it wants to create comets so it, it shoots out comets. And they cool off eventually over time as they gravitate around other stars. Wait, that part may not be right or correct-ish. What I'm trying to tell you is this. We have had a massive coronal mass ejection on the sun. One of the biggest, grandest, specialist, most glorious I've ever seen. I'm pretty sure it's not Earth directed, but it is crazy. Like, holy wow. It's got V's. It looked like apparently there was a giant cable within the sun and it just shot it out. Like, the sun had an extension cord within it. That's, that's interesting. I just had deja vu. Can't tell if that's good or bad. But you know, I have done sun videos before on this double peak minimal solar maximum that was really weird and never ending. And hey, guess what? We are still at all right. Crazy days indeed. Keep your eye on the weather. Keep your eye on the sky. Keep your eyes on the road. And don't drive on ice. Oh, and get the ice and the snow off your roof. There you go. Sunday. Solar madness. Shall not disappoint. Excellentness. Okay. This moment, we're looking at the sun on the GOES Solar X-ray Imager. Now, there's a big pop-off here. And it looks like the sun's got a couple diamonds in it. There's one diamond there. Another diamond shows up there. There's a big pop-off diamond there. And a diamond is an unofficial scientific term. <laughs> when I say scientific, I said towards science. Okay. Maybe Rihanna was right. She said, shine bright like a diamond. I just thought it was interesting. It's definitely interesting to watch because it's almost like you can see this coronal whole line triangle thingy widen. As time keeps on ticking, ticking into the future. All right, we are done with this one. No way. There's no way I'd let it be that simple. There'll be more, I guess. Whatever. All right, so apparently they have not plugged the coronal mass ejection into the WSA and Lil prediction system thingy. So we had a sun grazing comet graze the sky. And then the sun fired off a giant thing you were a, almost an equal amount of mass, it seemed. Crazy. I know. Crazy days indeed. Lens flare fairies. So we get a comet, Soho 5879 or some dumb shit name, that neither amateur astronomers, nor NASA, nor the ESA, nor anyone had found until it showed up on the Soho Lasco cameras. See? These solar cameras are important and filled with new science. So I highly recommend giving one piece from the 100 climate change NASA pi, pi to solar. Okay, that didn't work out. Comets are like cat, dragon, dirty duck, snowballs, and they're totally omens.